In this video, we're going to look at creating a Bitcoin market data system based on the KDB Plus tech architecture. The four major queue processes that make up this architecture are the ticker plant, the HDB, the RDB, and a gateway that we've added. The HDB is a historical database that stores past data. If I type slash A, I can see there's three tables. This includes an order table and a trade table. By performing a select to get the number of trade rows by date for USD Bitcoin trades, I can see how what data I have and that I have multiple rows for each day stored within my historical database. The next queue process that I want to look at is the ticker plant. Again I'll type slash A to see what tables exist and again I have an order and trade table. This time they appear to be empty. However what's actually happening is that I have a Java feed handler in the background that's calling the .u.upd command to send new data in for the trade and order table. If I override the port set event handler, I can see updates coming for the order table. I now remove the event handler and if I look at the .u.w I can see that there was one other queue process listening to updates for the order and trade tables. The process that li was listening was the RDB or real time database. It, again it contains an order and trade table with the same layout as our ticker plant but this time we can see the data and that if we perform this QSQL query we can see that it only contains data for today. And if I look at the count of the table in sequence I can see that the count is increasing because it's, it's subscribed to the updates from the ticker plant and it's placing appending them onto the end of its tables. I want to look at the last queue process which is a gateway we've created that combines data from the HDB and RDB allowing clients to retrieve data from both seamlessly. So I use slash f to see which functions exist. I call my get trades where function which accepts a string of where clauses and we'll fetch data from both the HDB for past data and the RDB for today's data. So I've retrieved the result for the USD Bitcoin trades for the last two days. And if I look at the count by date, I can see that I have data for the 31st of May, the 1st of June, the 2nd of June. If I then go look in my HDB, and I keep the same WHERE clause. You can see I only have past data for the 31st of May and the 1st of June. Taking that query and performing it in the RDB, I only have data for today. So the gateway process allows users to query one queue process and that process then goes off and queries the HDB and the RDB, brings the data back together and shows the combined result to the user. Finally, let's look at how we may display the data using SQL dashboards. So I've previously created a .das file that displays an order book, the latest prices today and the latest prices for four different exchanges. So you can see that the prices are updating and the price graph for the last hour is also updating. We can change to a different worksheet and we can see the historical prices. So this dashboard works by querying our gateway and pulling back the combined data and updating it in real time. If you want to construct this system yourself, 
The steps necessary are outlined below. Good luck.